Good morning from Dublin. Good morning. Well, we did have a day planned, but in true Dublin style, it's wet. <laughs> so we're Change going it up. to play it by ear. Uh, yeah, we've got a list of places that we want to see over the next three days. We do have a tourist hotspot booking this afternoon that we will be working our itinerary around, I guess. That's the only thing planned for today. Today is going to be fluid. So join us as we explore Dublin and we'll see you on the outside. Dublin in the rain. What are we doing, Phil? Full Irish breakfast today. We have sausages, bacon, hash brown, eggs, beans, and white and black pudding. So white pudding is different in Ireland, isn't it? That's, they don't usually have that in an English no. breakfast. We both have one today. The new look, Phil. Hoodie, raincoat. This is the Dublin look. Thank you. Thank you. With a wet, cold Dublin day on our agenda, we headed down into the city and found the hop on, hop off bus are a great way to get familiar with the city and we thought it was a perfect day to take that opportunity. Sometimes on a hop on hop off bus you get a live guide and on our trip on this particular day we had the most lovely live guide. We'll be going here later this afternoon but that's Guinness. Where the Guinness is it? It's not our bus driver. I just picked up some people and dropped them at the bus stop so they knew how to get back to the city. So that's what he's telling them now. It was amazing driving around Dublin. How much of the Dublin landscape is taken up by Guinness? There are Guinness land holds everywhere. Tons of Are you a hop on hop off bus person or not? Let us know in the comments below. What do you do to get orientated with in the new city? We'd love to hear that too. We're on Grafton Street in Dublin. We've just hopped off the hop on hop off bus for now. Done a route of the city. It seems to have stopped raining. There's even a bit of blue sky. Guy plane over there. Grafton Street is a pedestrian shopping street known for its street performers and buskers. The three shop. Well, let's go there. This is St. Stephen's Green. Oh, in the grass My new covering. In Ireland, we need it. <laughs> Bill's got his. <laughs> We have just arrived at the Guinness Storehouse. The Guinness Storehouse, as you probably know from other videos, is a seven story high experience. Finishing at the Gravity Bar, we'll get there later. It's a must see site in Dublin and you sort of think, uh, whatever. But I've got to tell you, it is a lot of fun. So come with us as we explore. 100,000 tonnes of Irish grown barley used every year to make Guinness. Guinness was the first brewer in 1959 to introduce nitrogen into their beer. You are feeling a bit peckish, I need a break. There is a cafe halfway through. Apparently 
Guinness has its own railway that ran under the James Street location, which is where we are right now. In the cafe, you get snacks, hot and cold drinks, pastries. We decided to skip the tasting room. Part of the experience. This is the different types of advertising. There's some pretty interesting ads. A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'll keep you my love. Tick follow top follow tick follow top. <gasps> Sugar! I wasn't on the set. We didn't pay for the academy. This floor is restaurants and stuff, and we've got to go up yeah, to the okay. gravity floor. The view from the gravity bar. Looks like the sun's come out. Well, around. That's impressive. Oh, it's not my first <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It's mesmerizing to watch. It is. Uh... Thank you. Enjoy. We go together. A five. That's not bad, is it? It's not the worst beer I've ever had in my life. That's an. It's almost sweet on top. I don't know if I call it sweet. It's chocolatey. In Dublin, Dublin in Dublin here. It's a medieval Viking story of how Dublin became as big as it is today. Vikings arrived in 841. We also are using the Dublin City Go card for this trip. Most activities we do over the course of the next three days are actually covered by the City Card. I'll talk about that in a later video after the vlog series. Moving into medieval Dublin. Hard day at the office. This museum is really well done. Once you finish in Dublinia, you just cross and you go into Christchurch Cathedral. <laughs> The story of Christchurch Cathedral began almost a thousand years ago when the Hoborno Norse king built the first church on the site in around 1030. The Anglo-Normans rebuilt the cathedral in the 12th and 13th century and then it was heavily restored in the 18th century after a ceiling collapse. Inside the cathedral is beautiful. The tiles on the floor are a replica of the medieval tiles except for one section. That this floor in here is the original medieval floor. When they redid the floor, <laughs> they were able to save these tiles. These cute little guys are pilgrims known as the Foxy Friars. The stained glass windows base back to the 1870s where they are based on the designs of the medieval windows. Inside the choir, the Archbishop Bishop seat. From the choir back to the through the nave. Do you take time to look at the details indoors when you travel or is it just us? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. This is 
probably quite fitting, I think. So what have we got? Beef and Guinness stew and mashed potatoes. And a Guinness to go with it. Well, you've got a Guinness. You've got cider. I've got a cider. Yeah. That's what we needed tonight. Alright, uh, we're gonna eat. We'll catch you after dinner. If you're enjoying our Dublin series, why not hit the like button? Why not subscribe so you can see more of our Dublin series? If you're interested in London, we've just come back from there as well. So check out that playlist, it'll be in the description below. We hope you've enjoyed our day one in Dublin. Uh, not quite what we planned, but we did manage to squeeze a bit in. As always, Thanks for joining us. Travel, Travel brilliantly. brilliantly. Bye. Bye.